Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luke, and in today's video is gonna be pretty fun. We're actually gonna be renovating the teardrop camper. So in a couple past videos, I talked about some of the changes I wanted to make. Obviously, when you build something, the more you use it, uh, you're gonna find things that you don't like and you wanna change. So in today's video, we're actually gonna make those changes. I'm really excited. Now, I got a little carried away. I got really excited and I started doing some prep work. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've done so far. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my brother and then uh, myself's teardrop camper. Uh, we built this from the ground up. We have plenty of videos. Uh, check the description below for a whole playlist on how we built this. Um, but in the inside here, basically I took everything down from the walls, cushions. You can see the light is hanging behind me. I got that off the wall. Um, basically I stripped it from the inside. Um, wasn't that hard. Everything was really easy to remove. Uh, I'll show you all what I all removed. But basically the plan is, is to replace um, this wood down here. And this is a beadboard, actually the same wood in my tiny house. Um, it's getting pretty beat up from us camping. Uh, it's not holding up, help, uh, holding up as well as uh, the tongue and groove on the walls here. So we're actually going to get the same tongue and groove that's on the walls and put it on the base here. Um, and then redo some of the trimming. Uh, and then other than that, I have a whole list of things I want to do. A lot of them are small things. The only other big major thing I want to get done is to stain all the wood in this entire camper. Um, it's not going to be a major dark stain. We're kind of going to go for a clear stain just to protect the wood from any uh, moisture or anything like that. So. Alrighty, so today is day two of the renovation type deal. Um, we have everything out of the teardrop like I said yesterday. So now that it's bare and kind of everything's off the walls, we can now start taking um, that kind of baseboard off. So hopefully this will do the trick. All right, so you guys might recognize uh, this beadboard here. This is what's actually in my tiny house. This is, I think, this scrap um, from when we built the tiny house. So we didn't actually have any money in this. And you might notice as well is that a lot of this trim is this kind of mismatched trim along here. Um, the reason for doing this beadboard in the first place is actually we ran out of the tongue and groove. Um, so we, you know, made ends work and working on a tight budget. So. Uh, we went ahead and put this in. It looks good in the beginning. We did enjoy it, um, but you can see there's lots of nicks and um, just marks everywhere, so it's not holding up the best. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and start removing it. Like that I have the entire section that I wanted gone. This beadboard isn't too tough of stuff so it wasn't too hard to rip out. I'll go ahead and show you guys how it looks. So I know you guys can see this is actually where the kitchen is right now. The kitchen is slid into the teardrop. Um, so that's what it looks like. That's what the walls normally hiding back there. Um, but yeah and then back here you can obviously see that we have the storage area back there, so you can kind of see some of the stuff in the storage area. But this shouldn't be too hard at all um, to run the tongue and groove throughout here. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that went very well. I got really inspired to paint, so I got some white. I got some white paint down there. I'm just not gonna paint the walls. Don't worry. We're still gonna stain those. But when I'm sitting on here, which is normally covered up by cushions, I want to paint white. It is currently 12 o'clock, so probably an hour and a half into doing this. I have one coat on here. Hopefully you guys can see all that. So I have one coat on here. 
Uh, this piece right here um, is normally sitting right here. Uh, when we put the bed out, the boards go across obviously, and then this slides onto the boards. So I went ahead and painted that as well. And then the cabinet that is normally sitting right here that was being stored in the tiny house, I went ahead and painted that and I'll show you guys that right now. So here's the cabinet that we went ahead and painted, or I guess I painted. Uh, I went ahead and used gloss remover. Um, it had kind of a veneer finish to it, so I used that and then sanded it. Um, we're just on one coat right now. Probably gonna do two or three coats to see how uh, it looks. But yeah, this would look a lot better. So I actually work tonight, so my dad over here is actually gonna go to Menards for me. And uh, you're gonna vlog it, right? Yeah. Sweet. It's like Luke's got me doing some of his shopping for him today. I'll have to uh, pick up a few items here at Menards. Okay, looking for a polyurethane to seal the walls and ceiling in the teardrop. Just a couple products here to pick from. I've been studying these for a while. I'm concerned some are going to be too runny to apply. So I think I finally settled in on Wipe On Poly Clear Satin. Alright, now we're trying to find the six foot car siding. One by eight, tongue and groove. Okay, six dollars. So I think that's pretty much it right there. And the, the trick with this is to find four that are somewhat complete. All right, I found my four. I think we had to go through about 15 of them to, uh, to get there, but we got there. Well, got that running done. It's raining just a little bit out there. You're welcome, Luke. All right, today is another day. Today is Wednesday. I probably won't do much filming or much work today. Uh, I do work a full eight hour shift today at work, so I'm gonna squeeze some work in while I can before I leave. Uh, I leave. I have to be at work at 1:15, so I'll leave around 12:40. But it is currently 9.35. Um, I did some miscellaneous things. I put the handle back on the cabinet I painted. And I also added, um, I don't know what you would call it, but basically it's like a tension thing. So when you close the cabinet, it kind of holds it and it kind of has to do more force to open it. So that way when we're driving on the road, I won't have to bungee cord it shut anymore, which would be really nice. But what I've been doing uh, recently is uh, starting to cut some of the pieces for the tongue groove. <laughs> Up that. What I don't know what you did. It sure is nice to uh, be using my uh, woodworking skills. Uh, I haven't used my woodworking skills in a, quite a bit, so it's nice to kind of get a get a feel for it again, cutting some wood and screwing some things in. So, so that piece of wood we just cut is right here. Um, I pre-drilled two holes in it right there, so we're gonna obviously uh, screw it in with some screws. Uh, the reason for putting this here is it adds the stopper for this wood right here. But once we put wood right across here like this kind of it's not cut the size obviously but it'll work um we'll have something to nail into so that kind of gives us a corner uh joint right there all right so we currently have a storm rolling in uh, i looked at the radar today and it wasn't supposed to rain until late in the day but i literally hear thundering and it's blinking right now so we're gonna try and at least get most of it installed um so i have the adhesive i just brought the air compressor with me and then I'm gonna use the brad nailer to hopefully install some of these pretty quick, but I gotta get going. Probably will call it quits for the day. I uh, got a good amount done. It is a lot more humid and hot out here than I thought. I'm sweating up a storm right now. Um, so I'm gonna go hop in the shower and get ready for work. Um, but. We got a good progress today, at least we started on it, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I know you guys can't see too much of it, but we only have a couple pieces left to cut, and uh, 
we'll be ready to go. So hopefully tomorrow, which will be Thursday, I do not work Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. So hopefully tomorrow, Thursday, we will start to stain, or not stain, but we're going to kind of put a protective coating um, on this wood. So hopefully tomorrow's that day. Hey guys, today is, what is today? Thursday. Um, so it's obviously the next day. It is currently like 11.40, I believe. Yep, 11.42. And uh, we started working right around 8.40 in the morning. So I've been out here for quite a while. I didn't record too much because a lot of the stuff I was doing this morning is just finishing up from yesterday. So I'll go ahead and show you what we did. So obviously you can tell that this wall is now finished. Um, I'll talk about this a little later, why this is new. And then obviously we have all the cutouts for where the bed goes and that wall's finished as long as as well as that wall up there. Other than that, because we have all of the you know, tongue groove put in. Uh, my brother is currently fishing with a friend right now, so once he gets back, I'm actually gonna recruit him and have him help me um, put the protective coating slash stain on the wood. It'll go a lot faster if he helps me, so I'm just gonna wait until he gets home, and we'll go ahead and complete that. Ready. Okay. All right, so I recruited Cole over here. If you guys don't know, uh, Cole's the one that actually started this project, and then I chipped in my help and some money and we could go ahead and finish it so he's here today to help us um he just got back from fishing caught some sheep had some catfish and so now he's ready to go ahead and stain the stain we're using is like what you guys saw in the video what dad picked up uh wipe on poly and then he went ahead and got like these like lint free painting cloths basically we're just gonna soak these and basically just rub them all over the wood um so yeah it's not very hard but with more uh, manpower, uh, we'll make short time of it, hopefully. All right, so it's probably been an hour. I took my watch off when I was standing, so I don't actually know what time it is. Um, 3.28, and I'm just starting to do some miscellaneous things. Um, just kind of getting itchy to put stuff back, like always. So I did install the cabinet right here, you guys. We painted that earlier um, in this video. So that's back in here, I just screwed it in. And then we also rewired or I guess I rewired um, this 110 volt outlet. As you can tell, this is a two gate or two gang box. So I just put this on here to protect it when it, if it once we turn it on and it's live. Um, but we're gonna hopefully try to find one that has a 110 volt, and then obviously that that um, that uh, USB style outlet's gonna go right here. So hopefully we'll find something that will work. Or we'll have to make something, but that's just there to protect it. And then behind me, I put. And obviously the protector for that uh, one game box that doesn't have anything in it yet. And then just the other ones for the other outlets over here as well. So that's all I've done so far. Uh, not too much. Probably next I'll put in the receiver part of for the bed posts that go across. Uh, put those in the wall. And uh, maybe put the lights back up because they're just dangling over here. So yeah, we'll continue on and keep uh, putting stuff kind of slowly back together. One of the biggest problems we had when just chillaxing and you know just chilling in here is if you're drinking something, you know, Diamond Dew or whatever, is there's nowhere to put it. So what I found myself and Cole doing a lot of times is putting it on the mattress. And it would work, but you know, that's probably not the best thing to do. Uh, so I went on Amazon, like anything else, and I found these really cool, um, they're actually made by Campco, which is a camper brand, believe it or not, um, collapsible cup holders. So fold down and then they're ready to go and you just screw them or you can adhere them to the wall. I'm going to screw it because I don't want any adhesive um, on these if we do move them. So I know where I want mine. I'm not going to install Cole's room because I don't ever sit on that side. This is my side of the camper so wherever he wants it he can go ahead and install it. But I'm going to go ahead and install mine right about here or a little lower so we'll see how this works.
it's finally that time in the video. First off, if you've made it this far throughout the video, thank you, and it for sure hopefully will pay off for you guys. I'm not gonna give you guys a tour of this, I'm just gonna show you the newly renovated inside. All right, so as we make our way inside, we have the cabinet that is uh, freshly painted. We have our decorations up here as normal, and the fairy lights are kind of a new touch to the whole organizational board right here. Obviously, we're able to hang backpacks and have our trash can. This is all new. Um, hopefully, we'll have our solar uh, type set up in the future, so we kind of built that into here. Um, but obviously the pine uh, tongue groove is all in. We have also underneath the table there another um, outlet for the future as well. Obviously uh, this is where we sleep so this slides out into a bed but underneath here um, that is all painted white now and uh, protected as well. Other than that um, not much has changed but it for sure does look really really well and uh, many of the small upgrades were made and it'll definitely help the space and help this camper while camping. So for sure a well needed kind of uh, makeover and uh, kind of uh, touch it up in some areas. So uh, I think it turned out really well. Thank you guys all for watching this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys really enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like and I appreciate you guys watching. Bye.